Hey, Snickers back. Back in the ye old house for today in lockdown. Okay. Now, as you know, once you come to Linux, it's all happy and hunky dory, and all of a sudden you may have to use this. Dun, dun, dun. The terminal. Okay. Now the terminal is your friend. Yeah, it's your friend. It can also be your greatest enemy if you can't type properly or spell. Just thought I'd tell you that. So to open the terminal, normally as a on your taskbar, there will be something, or there'll be something in your shortcuts. Or if I close this, and I'll show you what we do. If I go Control Alt and T, up it will come. Easy peasy. So today we're just going to use a few really simple basic Linux commands, and this should work over most distributions. I'm using Ubuntu, which is Debian based, but we'll go from there. Okay. So you can see, this is me. That's the computer. So, so I want to know what's in my computer in the terminal. So I get a bit bigger first, because that's what I want to do. So you can see what I'm doing. We'll move it around and go from there. Okay. So if you type in ls, this will list everything in your home directory. So we've got desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, snap, steam, templates, and videos. Okay. So if I go back to my file system, it's basically the same, isn't it? Yeah. Right, drag down. Come back here. Yeah. There you go. Basically the same, but this time there's no GUI. It's all TUI, as we call it. So, say I wanted to change directory and see what's in a different directory. So, if I go to and I type in CD space, and we'll go to pictures. Remember, you have to spell it correctly. So, pictures. I can't spell. Not today, anyway. And we are in that directory. So if I want to see what's in that directory, we again type in ls. And there you see all the pictures that I've got from my screenshots and my desktop backgrounds. That's all I've got in there at the moment. Oh, and I'm saying there. As you can see, they're all one colour. They're all just files, okay? Just files. They're not directories, they're not folders. So if say you want to come out of that and you want to go back to your home directory again, if you type in cd space and squirrely line it will take you back so remember that one cd space squirrely line i'm keeping it nice and simple for you guys okay okay so you've got too much on your screen the next command we're going to use is clear we type in clear and it will clear all that for us weren't that simple okay weren't that simple so the next command we're going to use today is ls Block. Now this will show you, or oh, let's be okay. This will show you not your folders, but all the drives you have, all the so-called drives. And once I hit enter, you'll see what I mean. Now, if we go down here, we have SDA1 and SDA2. These are my hard drive, yeah? So there's one here for 512 megabytes. That's the EFI part of it. And the second part of it is the free space. Yeah, okay. Easy peasy. The rest, because snap packages are all inclusive or sandboxed, so to say, they also turn up in this directory. I know, I know. Easy peasy, wouldn't it? So, say I was to uh, plug in a USB drive. So, I've just plugged in a USB drive. There you go, it's come up. I don't know how that worked out, but hey. And I go LSBLK again. Ah. I hear you cry. Now you can see on the bottom here, we also have a drive, okay? A USB drive. Wasn't that easy? It was really easy, wasn't it? So we're going to go into clear again. We're gone. So that's our basic commands, okay? Really, really basic commands. So I'll do one more for you. In a couple of days' time, we'll go and use some, some more commands. So if I go to list again, then I go change directory, which is what CD stands for. That's what I tell all my students. Linux in the terminal on computing in general is really basic. So CD, oh, it's not a compact disk. But if you use it in computing, change directory, yeah. LS, list, list, yeah. Makes it really easy. So if this time I go to, what should I go to this time? We'll go to videos, okay. And we list in there again. So remember these, we're using LS, CD, and LS, BLK. There you go. Can you see what I mean? So there's all my videos in this 
folder, okay? Because these are folders, you get me? So I'm going to go back to my home directory again. Sweet line. There we go. But this time I'm going to do list again. I could have put the direct path, but I'm just making it easier for you while we're doing it. And we're going to go change directory. And this time we're going to go to music, okay? We're in the music. I'm going to list what's in my music directory. Oh, that's a big one. Now, can you see your different colours? If I scroll up, the ones in the darker blue, these are folders with music inside them, okay? And the ones here in the light blue, or aqua, shall we say, they're just files. They're just basic files. Easy peasy. No, weren't that easy? Come on, it was really easy, wasn't it? So that's a few basic commands we've learned today, okay? A few basic commands. Tomorrow, we'll go into something else. And maybe on Saturday we'll do another one on basic terminal commands. Okay, so I'm going to clear that. That's all nice and clean. And we're done. Or I could change directory. Or if you want to come out of the terminal, all you have to do is type in exit. And it goes away. Sneaky Linux sound. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.